De Morgan's law states that x y complement whole complement is x prime plus y prime and x plus y whole complement is x prime y prime right or in other words what de morgan's law says is if you have a switching expression then you could take that expression and convert every variable into its complement which means every literal has to be replaced with its corresponding complement and plus has to be replaced with dot dot has to be replaced with plus and zero has to be replaced with one and one has to be replaced with zero okay i'll write it see this let us say there is a function f and this function is containing it is a switching expression this uh, switching expression is containing all the variables a b c so on so let us say some z just for the sake of example and now uh, it is containing some constants 0 1 and it is containing uh, the operators dot and plus right now what i mean is de morgan's law says that if you want the complement of this uh, expression then you take the same expression and you replace every literal with its complement which means if a variable is occurring as a you replace it with a complement if the variable is occurring as b i mean a complement replace it with a so whatever is the occurrence of the literal you just complement the corresponding one it doesn't mean that you should put if you should make everything as complements it means that if there is already a you know true value make it complement if there is a complement make it true which means like this if there is a make it like this right convert a into this b into this c into this and then z into this and if there is a, a 0 convert it into 1 and if there is a 1 convert it into 0 and if there is a plus convert it to sorry dot to plus and plus to dot like this so if you convert everything he is saying that whatever you get is nothing but the complement see in the light of this explanation maybe you could you know examine that uh, principle of uh, principle of uh, duality again so what is duality we have left the literals as it is and we did everything complemented which means just it is just like complement but then we just uh, you know <coughs> even changed the uh, see this i will explain you this is nothing but the complement right so f complement is nothing but this now if f is this then what is duality of f fd let me say that is duality leave the literals as it is which means a b c d so on z they have to be lit left as it is and the constants they have to be changed you know they have to be uh, modified which means in place of 0 you put 1 in place of 1 you put 0 and in place of dot you put plus and in place of plus you put dot right so this is the meaning of duality now what is the relationship between the uh, complementation and duality is simple first if you want to find the complement or let us say from the function you found out the fun this uh, complement you take the complement and again you complement the literals then you are going to get the duality right or so i hope that you remember the principle of duality principle of duality is uh, I, I told you in this first video right and, and and now you can directly go from f to dual and dual to complement how first you find out the dual and then complement the literals so what is the basic difference between complementation of expression and duality of expression you see if you have a expression f what is the what is the main difference between complementation and duality is complementation actually uh, if you take the complementation of the expression and if you again negate or complement all the variables you are going to get dual right so both are almost same except that the literals in both of them will be in the opposite form if a literal here is in uh, true form here it will be complement complement true like that for example uh, let's see this example see let us say x prime plus y prime if i want the complement of it what does the what does this de morgan's law say is take this expression and you convert every literal to its uh, you know complement and then replace dot with plus plus with dot so what do i get then x x for this uh, x prime i get x and for this y prime i get y and for this plus i got a dot therefore this is nothing but complement isn't it now what is duality duality is leave the variables as it is just you change the operations and then the constants right so duality says that leave the operators operands as it is and you just change the remaining things right 
operators then i get this so this is glt right and now you just check these two they actually are the same expressions only difference is if a variable is in true form here that will be in complemented form that is the difference got it so that is the that is how this de morgan's law work now let's take an example and see how to simplify it you know taking this de morgan's law into consideration right let's now simplify this um if you have to simplify this expression maybe let's see how to simplify at least some parts of it first so this this is actually this expressions whole complement here you could apply de morgan's law and you could simplify it so if i write like write it it will be x plus y followed by the complement of it so what do i get the complement i mean if i apply the de morgan's law every variable has to be replaced with its complement and then every operation has to be complement i mean changed plus has to be changed in dot so you will get this how did i get this x is replaced with x prime i mean x prime is replaced with x y prime is replaced with y z prime is replaced with z and in place of dot i kept uh, in place of uh, or i kept and and in place of and i kept or right plus x prime y prime plus x prime z prime right and now uh, if you have to simplify it uh, for now we shall expand it later you can you know you can even do one thing here in order to simplify these two you would observe one thing uh, directly you could always remember that if it is x plus y into x plus y z it is directly x plus y for now we shall derive it and the other one is maybe you could turn this into a dual it's dual and then you could do it right if you turn it into its dual what do you get x y plus x y z isn't it x y plus okay x into y plus z either you can take into dual and then simplify it or without confusion for now just see the multiplication i mean just see the every you know four terms which means x into x x dot x is x itself and x dot y z is x y z and y dot x is and this one is y z plus x prime y prime plus x prime z prime got it and now you could observe this here in these two i could pull out x as common if i pull out x as common what do i get x into 1 plus y z right and now in these two hmm, let's leave it as it is i could pull out y as common but then let's leave it as it is x y plus y z plus x prime y prime plus x prime z prime see i am following one method you could follow other any other method if it is easy for you i am just uh, following maybe the longest method now 1 plus this is x plus x y plus y z plus x prime y prime plus x prime z prime right now what i'll do is hmm, these two if i again pull you know x out of x as common these two will become x the reason is if i pull out x it will you'll get 1 plus y therefore this entire term can be replaced with x right yeah so this entire term could be replaced with x x plus y z plus x prime y prime plus x prime z prime now let's combine these two if i combine these two what do you think we get um x these two right so x plus x prime into x plus y prime how did i get this by distributing or over and and what are the two remaining terms y z plus x prime z prime right now what is this entire thing this entire thing is 1 what is this entire thing x plus y prime plus y z plus x prime z prime now we can combine these two if i combine these two what do i get x plus z prime i'm just you know simply de deleting it if i combine these two i get x plus z prime right then what is it x plus z prime plus y prime plus y z if i combine these two then what do i get x plus z prime z prime plus if i combine these two i'm going to get hmm y prime plus z now if you combine these two z prime plus z is 1 therefore it is x plus y plus 1 so which is nothing but 
simply 1. So the ex entire expression turns out to be 1. So maybe I have taken the longest route possible. You could directly do it in a shortcut by with practice. But I just wanted to show you the entire method. Okay.